Here is a uh, light holder. So to connect the relay to the light holder, we have to cut this wire off from this point. Let's say nearest to the holder. So let me take this point and let me cut it off. So something. Okay, so right now I have cut it off and let me pull apart this two wires. Okay. So once it is done, let me so you can see here right now you only have to cut the one wire between these two wires from the holder. So this will be going straight to these two wires, the one that I have connected going straight to the relay connections, this one. You know com and uh, nc so what we can do right now i can pull a little bit off from these wires so let me cut this off okay let me see if i can pull it off okay let me take other part Okay, so right now this both side has been pulled off and we have a significant amount of wire here which we can roll off before we plug into relay because we don't want to switch this both uh, wires while plugging into the relay. So I can do a little bit of adjustment here before I plug in. This is one part and this is other part. So make sure you should not short this wires while plugging into the relay. Okay, so now this part, um, the light holder part is ready. So we should have to look at the relay. So this is our relay module. Okay, this is our relay module. And in this relay module, we can see um, NO1, COM1, NC1. This is for relay one. Then NO2, COM2, NC2. This is for relay two. Okay, and if we look at this uh, other part of the of the relay, okay, then it is like ground uh, in one into VCC. These are four pins. So we will be using ground in one, which is the input one, because we will be using the relay one, this one. So we will be connecting the pins to ground and one and VCC. That is a five volt. So let me do first the the connections which is at the relay side so let me take the holder back again okay and let me take uh, the screwdriver here is the pins from the light holder okay the bulb holder so let me uh, you know open up the screws from uh, we have no1 com1 nc1 so we will be using com1 and nc1 because we will be using relay number one and we will be using this in one which will be connected to the arduino pins okay so let me pull it off this com1 pin okay so this is how i can make it little bit loose okay com1 and nc1 so let me plug this wire in to the com And then I will fit this up. Done. And then check the other one, other wire, and put into NC. Okay, let me. Okay. This is how you can connect the relay and the light bulb holder before you connect Arduino. So only thing you have to make sure that's here when you plug in the wires. Okay, make sure you should not short these things. Otherwise, it will create the spark. And so you should have to be a little bit, you know, careful about these things. So this part is almost done. We can uh, plug it in the light bulb if we want. Okay. Um, let me make it a little bit more readable. So the light bulb part is done. 
the only thing left is we have to connect the connections across the Arduino and the uh, relay. So the first thing first we can plug it in the uh, main pin which we will be connecting the pin number 8. So I can take the pin number 8 and connect to in 1. Again I just want to remind you we will be using relay number 1. That is why we have connected COM1 and NC1. So let me plug it in the VCC, the 5 volt and uh, that will be going to the VCC. Okay, and then uh, we have a ground which we can connect. Okay, this one is ground. So let me plug it in. So right now relay is on, it seems to be because light is glowing. So let me uh, plug this in to the, to the main socket. Okay. Let me plug in my holder, okay, and it is already on. Okay, so here is the final setup. We have the relay here, and we have light bulb, and we have the mobile app. And right now, I can turn on and turn off the light bulb using relay. Okay, thank you very much for watching.